Pull up world. It's your boy God. AKA Leo God. Chill with your boy Mark and stop stealing. I'm from Chicago. Born and raised. Came to Mississippi. And it's trying to do this rap thing. Try and get everything stopped. Boy Neil got it, aka got it. Born and raised from Chicago, Illinois. Kicking with my boy Mark Stock. I'm gonna show you a really short story of my life. You know what I'm saying? I remember back in the days how I all got started. I was living in Chicago, my brother got killed in 92. He got shot. So we moved down to Mississippi. A couple years later, me and my friend guys were sitting up in the attic listening to instrumentals. So, you know, it was writing music and everything. I'm listening, I'm like, okay, it's cool, you know. So the first beat we were listening to was that miracle when he first came out. So I'm like, I'm writing down my lyrics and everything. I don't know nothing about rap. So I'm just writing down my lyrics. I'm getting comfortable with it. I listen to my flow. I'm like, okay, this is cool. I think I can get into this. So from that point then, I just never stopped. So my, uh, one of my cousins, he had a studio. I'm like, hey man, you know, show me what to do. I want to get in this rap thing. I think, you know what I'm saying, I can make a career out of it. We, we got a studio, we got in the studio and everything, I'm chilling. He's showing me how to rap and everything. I'm trying to learn my style. I really don't have nothing to talk about because, you know, I ain't really experienced anything. My daddy was a preacher, so coming up as a preacher child, you know, didn't experience much, didn't get out the house much. I saw a lot of things, so I spoke about the things I saw. My brother, he was in jail at the time, he saw the interest I had in the music. So he used to write me lyrics and everything, and basically I just rapped the lyrics that he sung to. I'm basically rapping his life. So I got to the point like, you know, I want to do something that recognize me. So I started writing, writing and writing. And I was trying to find my style. And it was hard for me to catch on. Because it was like I was slightly always off the beat. And my guys, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, you can't rap, you can't rap. I'm like, so I didn't let that shut me down. I'm like, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get this. And I kept on going, started working with different people. When I started working with different people, when I started working with the casino. Back in 2005, I worked at the same office in security. So one of my friend guys, you know, he rapped and everything too. Smooth, my boy Smooth. So we was always going at it. Me and my boy Smooth and Pride, just rapping, just trying to find my style. And it was to the point that it was like, I didn't know my style. I didn't want to sound like no one else. I wanted to be different. So it took me a long time. I was struggling. Struggling trying to find myself. So one time, I'm working at my house, and I run a studio to my house, start buying different equipment, you know, I'm recording people at my house. Now I'm producing, I'm rapping at the same time, I'm working with different people. And um, when I started writing my own music, then, and I got to the point, I'm like, you know, I'm gonna do this for me. It's time for me. When I started producing my own music, I tried to find myself, I was like, no, this is what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop writing. It seemed like when I was writing and I was trying to read and listen to the beat at the same time, I was still slightly off beat. So I was saying, I'm going to stop writing. So the first album I did was the final chapter. And the final chapter means, you know what I'm saying, this is it, no more writing. It's just freestyle now. So I stayed in the booth a whole week, dropped the album in a whole week, final chapter. I put that out there, you know, people feeling me. They got a different style now. So I worked on bigger things. Going to the next step. And the same process I was working on playing chess now. But that's not right. I worked with a few other artists. Just in my town. You know, Gangsta Joe, Low Key, uh, Liz Ski. You know, parts like that. We all work together, did a few songs together. So I took a break on that. From the music thing. For when I was just, you know, Get myself out there, put myself out there. And 
to, to total on you know, a work schedule. They kind of slowed down. So I started jumping on something else. I wanted to keep going. I didn't want my music to stop. I wanted people to still recognize who I am. I didn't want my music to slow down. So I wanted to continue putting stuff out there. So I jumped back up on it and did my, my official business out. Did a fishing business, put that out. And I just kept on grinding. Just kept on grinding. And just for the love of the music, I just kept on going, never stopped. After I took a short break with the music, and got back on it, I hooked up with my boy at 4 a.m. Now we went to school together. He always rapping, he always doing his thing. So I looked back up with him. I'm like, hey man, we can, we can do something. We can work something out. Let's do a song together. I always wanted to do a song with him anyway. So we, we hooked up. We came over to my crib. We had a studio in my crib. We did a few songs together. You know, he, he on my latest two albums. And we were doing that thing. We did a show one time at Ground Zero. I formed, I opened up for him in this group. We did one other thing. We continue on doing that thing now. We're working on different projects. And we got something going. When I get started, I'm gonna get a phone too. I love the music. 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 I love the and when we became a team, a perfect team, she enjoyed music just the way I did. So we got together and we hooked up, and so we've been the best team ever. We did a few songs together. You know, one of our best songs we did was Tell It All. The next song, Insecurity. I mean, she did a song by herself I produced uh, with me. And we've just been a team. We've been going on and on. And can't nothing stop us. I'm tagging now, she teaching me how to tag. I, I'm a tattoo artist now, I always knew how to draw anyway. But now she teaching me how to tag, taking to another level. So we got our own lady, um, something unique. We got the same tag. 2012, I'm working on a new project now. I'm working on my new album called Therapy. I'm doing videos, putting some own videos. You and me, sex, sex therapy. How it's gonna be? Between you and me, come a little closer, girl. Let me rock your world. I can rock the boat, make your body so. Thank you. 